What is up you guys? It's Nicole here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different one that I've been doing here lately on my channel. Um, we are actually going to be doing a little bit of a vlog type style today um, along with a quick uh, get ready with me. I wanted to um, kind of get this into a video somewhere. Um, this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. My sister actually bought this for me for Christmas and um, I've been using it basically like every single day since then and I love this palette so much that so I kind of wanted to do a quick look for you guys with it but the vlog that we're going to be doing is there is a new restaurant that is opening up here in my town and it's called Nukes Eatery now from what I've been hearing about and what I've been seeing on their website and everything is that they're kind of like a Shalotchkis, McAllister's, Quiznos type place it's like a soup salad kind of place um, but here in my town, before they open, they actually open on February 11th, um, they are doing a kind of like a free one entree, one drink per person, like taste testing type thing before they open. And I was able to snag three tickets for me and my husband and my little sister. So we're going to do that tonight. Um, it might probably won't see much of like the outside cause it's going to be dark. Um, cause we're going at like seven o'clock. But um, it's going to be kind of dark, so you'll probably see a little bit of the inside, but we'll definitely give you the what we think of like the, the entrees that we get and how the service is. And we're also going to see how long it takes from the time that we order to the time that we actually get our food. Um, and basically like the price points and everything like that to let you know if it's going to be worth it in the end. So I kind of wanted to do that and also this. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with the Morphe M573 and I'm going to go into this shade here. It is actually Silk Cream. It's a really good transition shade. It's a very good uh, skin tone color. So it works for any type of look that you're going to be doing. And I'm just going to take that right into my crease. And once you have that done, I'm actually going to go into, um, what color is this? Pooter. I'm going to go into Pooter with my R39. I'm um, just kind of deepen the crease a little bit. I'm not going to be as messy with it like I was with the transition shade. I'm just going to focus this more just on the crease and making sure my brush is straight on rather than down because I don't want that color to transfer down too far. I'm going to go back in with my 573 with no product on it and I'm just going to buff out the edge here to make it look a little bit more seamless. Okay, and once that done, what, uh, I cannot talk. Once that is done, I'm going to go into buns here. I think that's the right color. Yeah, I'm gonna go into buns with the uh, Glamour Dolls crease brush just a little bit and I'm going to focus that more just on the outer corner. and bring it up into the crease after that. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna go back in again with my M573 and blend it together. And now I'm going to go into my IBY Beauty Crease Brush and go into the color Chip. It's kind of like a more warm tone purpley brown and darken up the outer corner just a tad bit more. And then back with the 573 to blend. So next I'm going to go in with my Luxie uh, 239 Precision Shape Precision Shader Brush. I don't know why I had to double check that. Um, but I'm going to wet my brush with some setting spray. And I'm going to go into I'm gonna go into Hillster real quick. It is this shade right here. Haven't used this shade yet. And I'm going to just pat that onto my lid. I'm actually going to go in with Obsessed with a little bit of my, on my fingertip and just kind of go over it just a tad. 
back in again with the 573. And the IBY crease brush. I'm gonna go over that outer corner color again just one more time. So what I'm gonna do, my R39, and go back in with a mixture of Silk Cream and Pooter, the shades that we use for our crease, and dust it on the bottom lash line. Go back with the Ivy Wyatt crease brush and back in with that outer corner color and focus it just on the outer edge. And then what is it, whatever's left on the brush, blend it in towards the middle, not quite all the way to the end. We just wanna put a little bit of a shadow on your lashes. Uh, one thing I did do was I used um, Faint as a highlight where it's kind of like a blushy tone highlight and it's not too bad. Uh, I went in with the R36 highlighting brush. Since I had to fix the fallout, I kind of lost a little bit of the highlight. But it's actually a really pretty highlighting shade for your face. And then what I like to do is if it's too intense, I'll kind of dab over it with my beauty blender. So I'm going to take the Morphe E36 uh, pencil brush and I use this for an inner corner highlight. I'm going to go into beam all around the brush and dust it on the inner corner. Why are you throwing a fox? Huh? Why are you throwing her fox? I thought she was right there. Huh? I thought she was right there. Oh. Uh, in the middle of filming. Oh, okay. Then you take the same one and you can use it as a brow bone highlight. I'm telling you a beam, a little goes a long way, obviously. Quick lipstick change. I'm going to do my lashes off camera. Um, I'm not gonna wear any fake lashes today just because I have some coming in the mail, so I actually don't have any right now. But um, I'm skipping eyeliner just because um, I've been doing that a lot here lately. The black liner and the waterline, I've actually just been just liking just a nude um, waterline and um, don't do wing liner unless I have fake lashes. So I'm going to do that and next time you see me, hopefully we will actually be at dinner or on our way to dinner and I will see you guys in a little bit. You guys, and before I forget, this is my adorable puppy dog. Yes, you are. She is almost just shy of four months old right now. We got her when she was about eight weeks. So she was our Christmas present. She is a black lab pit mix. And her name is Aria. Nate, where are you going? You're so adorable. Yes, you are. She's so cute because she has like these white patches like on her chin. She smells my hand lotion, so she wants to lick it. But she has like a white chin. She has a... Uh, Back up. I'm trying to talk. Like white patches on her and she's got white patches on her feet too. And she's still kind of getting used to her collar. She has her rabies tag on and as you can see, a crap ton of teeth marks in it already. Same. <laughs> You're so cute. Yes, you are. Sit. 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 Good girl. You can really tell that in her ears. She's more of a pit. She doesn't have those lab ears. You're so cute. In the meantime, she is playing with her dragon while we are waiting to go to dinner because it is only 4.30 right now. Look at her. Aria. <laughs> uh.
Yeah, just a little bit. That's why I got five or not jail. Just got back from eating. Um, I gave you guys like a little bit of a montage type, you know, video of, you know, like our trip there and then of, um, you know, like the food and the menu and the survey and everything that we had to take because it was actually during a training type day where they were, uh, they had like a test menu and they had everybody that was hired there working just so they can, you know, train and get feedback on everything. But it was really good. Um, on the way out, we actually got a full menu of everything that they have. We just was able to order just about like a little bit of what's on the menu. It was really good. It was a really good atmosphere. I would have filmed in the restaurant, but it was a little bit loud. And since I'm on my phone, I didn't want it to, you know, make it to where you guys couldn't hear me or anything. But I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The sandwiches were so good. The sandwiches that we got, my husband and I actually split. And we got the one that is called, uh, one that's called the Nukes Club. It is smoked ham, oven roasted turkey, bacon, Swiss cheese, cheddar, tomatoes, and romaine lettuce, topped with mayo and honey mustard. And then we also got what is called uh, the Italian. It was a imported hot capicola. Is that how you say it? Stop. Really? You're getting in the shower right now? I'm getting the dog a bed. No, I'm going to take my hair. You can't wait until I'm done. How long is it going to take me? It's going to take me five Like minutes. 10 minutes. It's going to take me five seconds to rinse my hair. I just got to rinse all that stuff out of my hair. Okay, sorry about that. Husband came in with the dog and was making a whole bunch of noise. But um, the other sandwich that we got was the Italian. It was imported. If I'm butchering these words, please correct me. Capicola, uh, mordella with pistachios, campiani pepperoni, some sort of salami, um, provolone, romaine lettuce, tomato, onion, hot cherry peppers, spicy creole, mustard, mayo, and Italian sauce. Um, I am going to warn you though that the Italian is definitely messy, um, but it's well worth it. It was super good. The Nukes Club was super good. Um, my sister ended up just getting like a Caesar salad and she said it was good. It was actually a pretty good sized portion too, like, um, I don't even have anything in here as like a reference, but it was a pretty good sized portion. Um, the sandwiches were super filling. Um, the side that I had was a pasta salad, which it was just a cold, regular, you know, pasta salad with like that yellow and green uh, spiral pasta. And then my husband just got a bag of deodorant, uh, Doritos. I cannot talk. Um, other than that, it was like super good. Everything was really good. The total price. Uh, we actually didn't have to pay for it, but it was in a, you got two sandwiches with two sides, you got a Caesar salad, and you got three 32 ounce drinks, and um, you didn't have, we didn't have to pay, but we saw the total came out to $31.58, so it actually wasn't too bad at all, so the, the prices were pretty good, this food was super filling, after the sandwich I was kind of like, had a couple bites of the pasta salad, and I was pretty much done, but super good highly recommend they've got everything from like mac and cheese they've got desserts sandwiches uh salads pizzas i mean look at that you get a pizza that has shrimp on it that is awesome and look at that shrimp on a sa on a sandwich definitely recommend it was clean it was actually a decent amount of time because our reservation was at seven and we ended up going in Looking at the menu for a little bit, we ordered, we sat down with our table number and um, Eva got our drinks. Then we ate and we did the, the survey that we had to fill out and we were walking out after uh, we did like an email sign up to um, about 50 minutes long. So it actually wasn't even that bad at all. The service was really good. Everybody was really friendly. We got to talk to the managers. We talked to the general manager. We talked to a bunch of different workers. So it was pretty good. They're friendly. 
definitely recommend it. it was really really good other than that i think that's all i have for you guys um definitely kind of thinking on doing more of the vlog style type videos in the future i just have to find like certain things to do um this one just kind of was given to me on a silver platter so i was scrolling on facebook and saw that they were doing the free taste testing reserved three spots as soon as i saw it but Hopefully my next video will actually be um, the Morphe foundation. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. So I ordered the foundation and the equalizer primer. So the primer is supposed to be for the oily to normal skin. So definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I upload that video. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, again, subscribe, make sure you go and follow me on my other social medias that are in the description box as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.